Hello and welcome to this video on scattering parameters, often referred to as S-parameters. In RF and microwave engineering S-parameters play a crucial role in understanding and analyzing the behavior of RF devices and systems. Let's consider the example of band pass filter. It has two ports, the one is input and the other is output. If any RF signal is applied to its input port, then some of RF power would be transmitted while the other is reflected back due to impedance mismatched. So we can express these power mathematically in the form of S parameters. As it has two ports, so there are four S parameters would be possible in this case, which are S11, S12, S21 and S22. The first parameter is S11. S11 represents the power that's reflected back to port 1 when an input signal is applied at port 1. This parameter is also known as the reflection coefficient. S11 gives insights into how much of the incoming signal is reflected due to impedance mismatches or other factors. The second parameter is S12. S12 signifies the power transmitted to port 2 when an input signal is applied at port 1. This parameter is crucial for understanding how well a signal propagates from the input to the output port. The third parameter is S21. S21 describes the power transmitted to port 1 when an input signal is applied at port 2. It reveals the efficiency of signal transfer from the output to the input port, providing insights into the network's signal handling capabilities. The fourth parameter is S22. S22 corresponds to the power reflected back to port 2 when an input signal is applied at port 2. Similar to S11, this parameter helps in assessing impedance mismatches and signal reflections at the output port. In general, there would be any RF system in place of filter, such as diodes, amplifiers, antenna etc. Moreover, these S parameters provide insight into how RF signals interact with different components, aiding in the analysis, design, and optimization of RF systems. Let's consider an example of a low-pass filter designed in advanced design system software. In this example S parameter simulator is used to perform the S parameter simulations. When we run the simulation using the run button, a dialog box will appears. From the top left menu you can select a rectangular plot. In this you can plot all the four S parameters S11, S12, S21, and S22. Let's plot the S21 and S11. And here is the plot. By working with S parameters, engineers can predict the behavior of complex RF networks and assess factors such as gain, loss, impedance, phase, group delay, and the voltage standing wave ratio. Understanding these S parameters enables engineers to predict how an RF device or network will behave in different scenarios. For instance, a high S11 value indicates poor impedance matching leading to significant signal reflections. On the other hand, a high S21 value suggests efficient signal transfer from output to input. S parameters are used extensively in designing antennas, filters, amplifiers, and even entire communication systems. We hope this video has shed light on the significance of S parameters in RF engineering. In our next video, we will discuss how we can use S parameters files in ADS. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative content.